Well, we do have Yunus Yoon, who's going to give us some guidance <laughs> as to how, what kind of role China might play here over the next few days. Morning, Yunus. Morning, Carl. Well, China's foreign ministry confirmed tonight that President Putin did speak on the phone with uh, President Xi Jinping today and that the two had discussed Ukraine and uh, dis and, and uh, President Putin had told President Xi that he's willing to have high level discussion negotiations with Ukraine. Uh, the ministry added that uh, President Xi told Putin that he backed the Russian leader resolving the issue through negotiations and repeated uh, China's uh, long held stance on the importance of respecting other countries sovereignty. Now, up till now, China has shown support for Russia, refraining from calling the attack on Ukraine as an invasion, uh, but it has also been indicating that it has a certain level of discomfort with uh, Russia's move because it does uh, breach uh, China's uh, long-held view, and what it says is important, is a key principle of their foreign policy, and that is non-interference in other states' sovereignty. Also, uh, China has indicated it's uncomfortable with the, the level of uncertainty that that could bring to the economy here. Now, uh, Carl, Jim, I thought your conversation about the idea of China playing a mediator role really interesting, because for some historical context, China has offered to play mediator for a lot of other very difficult um, um, negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians, between the Afghan government and the Taliban, between India and, Pal uh, and uh, Pakistan. Uh, not all the, uh, the countries have or, or different parties have ever taken China up on the offer because it's not always seen as an honest broker. And it's unclear if in this situation uh, Ukraine would take China up on that role if it were to come to pass. And, uh, Carl, that's because uh, so far China hasn't uh, has really shown that some tacit support for Russia. Uh, that said, Ukraine uh, um, has China as a very important trading partner. And, in fact, the two just celebrated 30 years of diplomatic relations last month.